I'm just going to be painting a section of a Monet painting, trying to just show you a few of his basic techniques or techniques that you can use to have a go yourselves at copying a Monet painting. So first of all, I've drawn out in pencil, and now I'm just very quickly sketching in a little bit of underpainting in tones, just with the paintbrush to darken some of these areas. Uh, where the paint's a little bit darker, I'll just use a little bit more of the brown. Where it's lighter, I'll use it a little bit more watery. So it's quite watery paint. I'll get a little bit more watery paint in that area there, and a hint of paint just in this area here, just to remind me where the bushes and trees are. Uh, for the sky, I'm going to go straight to a blue, but again, I'm just going to put in an underpainted section of blue, so it will be a little bit of blue, a little bit of white, just to get me started with a kind of mid-tone of the blue that's there in the sky, and just with, again with quite watery paint, I get this filled in, the whole area just fairly quickly filled in with the blue. And what I'm trying to achieve is just an undercoat of paint that I will be working over as I finish this off. It's not going to be an exact copy, it is just trying to get a sense of the piece without having to copy it absolutely exactly, just to get some of the ideas of the techniques that are being used. I'm now going back to the palette and getting some white paint and I can start getting some of that onto the paper. You can see I'm not washing my brushes in between which means that the white paint is coming out as a little bit of a pale blue which is what I want at this stage. So I'll do those areas that I want it to be still a pale blue and the last things I'll do will be the bits that I want to be completely white. So a little bit of pale blue there Just getting those done and then I'll go to my white paint and get some of that in more fully like this using a much stronger white paint. See the green here not a very pleasant green so I'm going to mix a bit of brown with that and mix, mix up some different kinds of greens. I get some yellow as well some yellow ochre and mix that in too and then I'm just going to start looking at areas where I can start working those in. This colour is not exactly right for that, but some areas where I can see this colour appearing, I'm going to start just dabbing it into those areas. Down at the bottom here, we've got some hints of that colour, a few little bits of it around here, and we just start getting some of those into place. Uh, I'm going to go to the yellow ochre, we've got a few little bits of the yellow ochre, fairly straight from the tube or in this case, the bottle. These are just poster paints that I'm using. Uh, then I need to mix a darker version of the green. So I'm gonna get some green and a little bit of black, a little bit of blue in it, and start doing some of these, the darkest areas. Again, just trying to dab it around a bit, keeping that texture of the brush strokes so that I don't lose that texture. See here, still trying to work some of that texture onto there. I'm going to go to a slightly smaller brush just to allow me some of these markings. I've got the tree here, just try and put that in and get that kind of squiggly markings in there. It's gone slightly more solid than I wanted that and then the other bush here. Uh, if you're not getting quite as clear a marking as you want, make your paint slightly watery. That will give you a slightly um, sharper line. If your paint's a little bit more watery, you can be a bit more precise with it. So areas where I've got the darkness there, I can just work into those and around here. And I've got some other dark areas over here that I need to just work into a little bit more. And you can see it just beginning to emerge as a recognisable, oops, 
recognizable, hopefully, version of this section of a Monet painting. It's only a quarter of the painting. It's just a slice of a quarter of it. But trying to just keep some energy in the work and a little bit of detail developing underneath. See here, I haven't quite got my colours right, but they don't have to be absolutely exact. We're just trying to get a sense of the piece of work here. I've got some of those little flowers there. I'll get a little bit of my red paint. Just put some of the little dashes of flowers there. So just keeping on thinking about small markings. Don't let your colours blend together. Keep these markings separate. And again, don't worry too much if you're not absolutely exact with it. You're just trying to get a sense of a similar kind of a piece of work, not an exact copy. Thank you. And that is your final Monet.